Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the Java series. This episode, I'm going to teach you how to suspend threads and resume the threads. And, uh, yeah. So what I mean by that is whenever you run a thread, sometimes you might want to pause it. So maybe another thread could run or maybe you just, you don't want it to run for any reason, right? So that's called suspending the thread, which is just uh, pausing it, right? And then if you want to resume the thread, you would, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. But yeah, so we're going to be able to spend threads and then resume them back to uh, letting them run. So yeah, so it's a really simple concept and you'll see. So um, what I'm going to do first is just make a thread here. And it's just, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a regular thread. So public, or we don't need public, um, class, uh, cool thread. And then we need to implement runnable, of course. Because that's one of the ways to make a thread, if you remember. And uh, we're going to make a constructor for this class here, or thread. Okay, and it's going to take, well, let's make our variables first. So thread t and then string name. Okay. And then we'll do name, oh, well, string name. Okay. And so t equals new thread, um, this, and then uh, name. Okay, cool. So we actually don't even need this one probably. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just get rid of it. Um, yeah. So you might need it for another reason, like in maybe you're using it a different method inside here, but uh, I'm not going to use it in another method probably. So, yeah, we'll see. So anyway, so we're just going to use the parameter to put here, and then we're going to make the thread, and we'll say uh, new thread has been created. There we go. And so when it makes a new thread, all this will happen, and yeah. So now we're going to make our um, public void run method, because you have to have that, of course. This is going to be our thread's code, if you remember. Uh, if you don't remember, just go back a few episodes where I, well, where I show you how to um, start making threads. It's very simple. So, um, we're just going to have another thing here where it just counts down from like 20, for example. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, remember, you have to have your try statement here because, oh, actually, no, we need the for loop first. And then inside that, you have your try statement. And then, because you have to have the try statement because uh, sleep, the sleep method might uh, come out with an exception. So yeah, let's put a for loop first. We'll say int i equals 20. Uh, as long as i is uh, bigger than 0, then count down every time. Boom. OK. So I have a try statement here. So try thread dot sleep 1,000 seconds. And then it will output i every time. And then catch that exception. Interrupted exception e. I would just output it in case it ever happens. There we go. So now it's just going to count down by 20. That's all that's going to do. Okay, cool. So that's our code for that. And uh, yeah, so that's our threads code. Pretty simple, it looks like. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for that. So we can go ahead and make a thread here. So cool thread, a thread one equals new, cool thread. And then it wants a name, right? Yep. We'll call it thread one. Boom, and then we'll start. We'll run the thread here by doing thread one dot t oh, dot start. There we go. And then we'll press run, and then it should start counting down by 20. Boom, 20, 19, 18. Awesome. Okay, so we have a thread here, right? Now let's say for some reason we want to implement a mechanism where we can start pausing the thread when we need to. Okay. So the way to do that usually, well, in the past, it would just be the, to use the suspend method and the run uh, and the Let's see, let me find it. Suspend, resume, and stop methods, but that's in the old version of Java. In the new version of Java, we would have to use the wait method that we already used last episode. So this is much simpler than last episode. So um so yeah, so that's how we do that. But okay, so how do how does the thread know to stop? Okay. So let's make a system to check and see um if the boolean comes out. If the boolean is true, that means pause it. If the boolean is false, that means don't pause it, okay? So let's just go ahead and make a boolean here. Don't worry if you don't know what I mean. You'll see in a second. So boolean, suspend, thread. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to make it the most obvious name. So suspend thread equals false. Actually, we're not going to initialize it. So just leave it like that. And then once the thread is created, then we're going to initialize it equals false. Boom. Okay. So now that that is there, um, let's go ahead and here. 
where um, you could probably put it up here or down here, like like these two spots. You can put you can put it wherever you want in here. But I'm just gonna put it at the bottom. So every time this runs at the end, it's gonna check and see if you want to pause the thread before relooping. Okay. So how to do that? Well, we could do. Well, we have to have the a synchronized block here. If you remember from the second uh, second episode of the synchronized section. That's how you do that. So synchronized, which is pretty simple. And then while, so while uh, suspend thread equals true. That's the same thing as doing equals true. That's, that's the same thing. Um, then do wait. So well, it's going to go in here. It's going to run. Um, it's going to count by count down by 20 every time. But after it uh, does the countdown and, and says the number, it's going to check and see if suspend thread equals true. And then if it does, it's going to pause the thread. Okay. That's just going to pause the thread. Remember. So yeah, so um, right now it's false because it is uh, false by default, of course. So we have no system to make it true, right? So we have, we have to implement that, okay? So what we're going to do is have two methods at the bottom, okay? One method is going to make it true, so it'll be able to suspend the thread, okay? And the next method is going to be able to resume the thread, okay? So that's pretty cool. Um, so it's going to be a synchronized method. So synchronized void, um, suspend thread, okay? I think I spelled that right. Um, oh yeah, need that. Synchronized voice is, oh my gosh. Synchronized voice is spin thread, and then it's gonna say, um, what to say? Oh yeah, suspend thread equals true. That's all you need to do, literally, because it's just gonna check and see every time um, if it's true or not, okay? So if you run this during the thread, uh, like if the thread's running and we uh, call this method, that means it's gonna be true, and this means that this is going to be triggered. Therefore, the thread is now going to wait. Okay. So now that it's waiting, how do we get it to resume? Well, we do this. So synchronized void uh, resume thread. You can name these two methods whatever you want. I'm just going to name it this because it's pretty obvious what they do. Um, we're going to say su uh, suspend thread equals false. Okay. So that actually won't fix it because um, if you remember, how do we get out of a wait? We have to do that by notifying it. Okay. So we have to call the notify method. Boom. So um, basically, we still also need this because if we just call notify by itself and not this here, it's just going to resuspend because um, it's still checking to see if suspend thread is equal to true or false. So yeah, that's why we have that, you know. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. So we're just going to test it out. We're just going to run it. We're not going to pause it or anything, call the methods or anything. So we're just going to run it here. And it's still going to do the same thing. It's just going to count down, okay? And by the way, let's add something here. Let's say wait, and then let's print out, or we'll add it up here, I guess. Say wait, and then uh, shout, and we'll say um, pausing thread. There we go. And then maybe down here, we could have um, resuming thread. Hopefully that works. Okay, cool. So hopefully that works. And then, um, yeah, so let's think about this. If we were to call um, thread one dot suspend thread right here, right? If you recall this method, it would happen instantly because if you remember the main method and this thread right here are going to run, uh, the main thread and this thread right here are going to run at the same time. So if we call this instantly, this is going to, it's going to pause the thread. Let's just check it out. See, watch. It's going to suspend it right as soon as it starts. So it's going to pause it right there. So how do we, um, get past that. We don't want the thread to like pause right away. So maybe we could add something like this. We could say thread dot sleep for like uh, 10 seconds, right? Because that's uh, 10,000. So um, of course we probably need the um, yeah we need the try statement here to catch the exception of the try sleep. So thread dot sleep. Um, so try and we'll put this in here. Boop. Okay, catch. Interrupt exception. Boom. Let's see. Catch. Catch. <laughs> uh, and then E. Okay. So that should do the job. So let's check it out. For 10 seconds, this will be able to run. So it's going to probably go down to 10 or something like that. So 10, 20, 19, 18, 17. Okay. 14, 13, 12. Pausing thread. So, okay, cool. So basically at 10 seconds, it's going to pause the thread because what we did is we're starting a thread here, right? And it's running alongside the main thread here, right? So these are two are running. So we're going to tell the um, the main thread to pause for a little bit. Um, and then we're going to run this, which is part of the main thread. Kind of. <laughs>
so yeah, we're just um, waiting 10 seconds and then we're pausing the thread that we ran here. Cool. So, yep, that's pretty simple, right? So you don't, you didn't even need to do this whole part. Um, basically, all I wanted to show you is that basically now we can suspend threads and then resume them if, resume them if we want to. So let's go ahead and do this here. Let's say um, after five seconds of suspending the thread, we want to resume it again. So we'll do 5,000 here. So 5,000. And then we'll say thread one dot uh, resume thread. Boom. Okay. So let's see if that works. So it should get to like five and then it'll resume it. 10, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Pause. It's going to wait five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Resuming. Awesome. That's really cool. So we paused it and then we resumed it after five seconds. That's really cool. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. So yeah, we can do that with uh, as many threads as we want to. Um, like we could have made th another thread of here if we want to. I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy, but yeah. So I, ho I really recommend that you uh, play around with this because it's kind of cool. I mean, it's really simple. Like look, look, look how much code this uh, took, you know? That's like nothing, right? So um, yeah, that's really cool. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll help you. Um, if you wanna join our Discord, it's in the descrip description. Um, so join that and we could hang out, um, make you, like you could ask questions, uh, play some GTA with us, <laughs> anything you want to do, man, just join them. And, uh, yeah. So if you liked the video, leave a like, if you want to see more, subscribe and peace.